All right, this is Lackadaisy, was referred to by somebody in my comment section, so let's check it out. Love me a good animation, so. Great music at the start. Old Man River. God damn, the animation looks That's good. Too far too austere a name for something made of mirth and rage. Oh, roiling red blood river vein. If chief among your traits is age, wow. you're a wily, convoluted sage. <laughs> is old the thing to call what rings the vernal heart of Westerlore? Okay. It brings us brassy, myth-made kings. And preponderance of bug-type things. To challenge titans come before! Dude, this is like... Oh. Great quality. Once more. And what a gust vitality in your wide aorta stream. You must have had to oversee alchemic change of timber beam to iron brick and engine steam. I have great Gatsby vibes, big time. Your umber whiskey waters lends the prideful sober sovereignty. A faulty haloed temperance and wilt her self-sure countenance. Hmm. Yes, righteousness is vanity. <laughs> but sports for imps, not elderly. So, if there's a name for migrant mass of veteran frivolity, that snakes through seas of prairie grass and groves of summer sassafras. I don't get the poem stuff that's going on right now. Rugishly. As wild waters, fast and free. It's your true name. Mississippi. Ahem. It's abundantly clear. You <laughs> forgot us down here. Encore? Uh, no encore? Uh, no, no, that's plenty. We're fine. Should I uh, add a, a dance? Extra stanzas? <laughs> There's more where that came from. Please don't ruin musical theater for everyone. Your lookouts are supposed to make such a ruckus anyway. Why don't you come down here huh. and grab a shovel? Alas, Miss Pepper, I was cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms. So <laughs> I do what I can. I provide the up. Uh... It gives me anime character vibes. Anime protagonist vibes, I should say. Here's something I find very interesting that I'm noticing, and I want to know if this is a design choice. You can clearly see, like, the sketching of the animations. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna put a hand here, body, head. Like, it doesn't happen in every single frame. But I want to know if that's a design choice. Because I find it very interesting. I provide the ambiance. Babyface provides the muscle. Look like it's not there. Look at his way to martyrdom, the little goat getter. Now, how about a little rhapsody in G minor for company? Fine. If you're not gonna help us work, you're gonna have to double as the dirt rag. <laughs> Rocky. I like her. I think I found. <laughs> Is that it? Well, if it isn't, yeah. we'll have some awkward explaining to do to the family of uh, Herman Hapfemfield. Is this all hand-drawn? It's not hand-drawn, right? There's no way. That would be insane. And I think it's got more digital effects on it, but, like, I mean, I don't know. That's, I find it very interesting. Uh, the design elements of the, like, circle sketches, I'm, like, so intrigued by it. What was that? Did you hear something? All these unresting spirits. We're trespassing on their turf. <laughs> Love that, Al. There's not you can do about it, you feisty devils. I wish my mom was here. What? Blasphemy! That force of nature, she'd stop us dead. I know. Oh, Freckle. Don't tell me you aren't having a good time. So you can see it right there. Pulling off your shoveling skills for hotsy totsy over here. Oh. For a moment there, I thought it was your mom. Uncle of spirits, digging up graves, sacrilegious. Settle down, cousin. 
spirits are all bottled up. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things turned out just fine for them. That casket don't look like it fits in there. Details, Freckle. Details. Now show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> Ah, Dionysian delight. Oh, it's and prohibition. Canadian whiskey. That's cool. Okay. I'm getting the vibe now. I think we should hurry. I'll start the car. In the jar. Leave the headlamps off. Can't be too careful. Right. We've been so discreet up until now. No! Don't let that get away! This is gonna drop! Moderation. Where's that spotlight when we need it, Miss Pepper? <laughs> now the spirits are afoot. I got it. No, I that got it. is my foot. That's not what I meant. No, I can't see. There's a car behind her. Ah, there it is. Stop it. You off me. Is it the police? There we go. Aw. Excuse me. Oh, we got some action now. Got some live ones tonight. I love the design. Let's not <laughs> they're just cruising. This is a trifling matter. We have other business to tend to. Yeah, but none of it near as fun as this going to be. Mm, can't let the competition go unchecked. Even a little vermin, they got a way of festering. She a cat. Ow. She gives me more mouse vibes than cat I vibes. Didn't drive like that. I did it. Didn't? Learn to drive. Well, you're so bad at it, you've confounded the enemy. Nicely done. <laughs> They're dead. Now we need a performance from you, Torpedo Boy. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. I, 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 uh, I, uh, I play us a symphony. I, I love this vibe. What's going on back there? Shoot him! All right, what the? <laughs> I guess this one is the big. Oh, no, sit with me! Jump on the car! Hell yeah! I love the crazy character. Always a great character. More glass. <laughs> Profoundly unprofessional. Well, they got more firepower than I expected. But you want to take over driving back? <laughs> no. Especially now that you have alleviated us of our windshield. Oh, you don't like how we play? How about you stop spectating and throw in, Chef? Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? Ooh. Oh, he's packing. <laughs> Nice. Oh. No way he's gonna like one shot this. Turn here, make a left. Right, left turn. Louis, left turn. No. Sinister, Mark. There's no left here. No way. Oh, I thought he was going to one-shot him. <laughs> Classic. 
classic misdirection. didn't mean to. It's just that there's a, hot, a fire, a burning hot fire in, uh, in, the, in the engine compartment. Is she going to get to know that fire? The radiator. Mm. Why is he all crazy now? I like the other guy being crazy. I don't know what's going on with this one. Is he like a feral cat now? I feel like this is definitely going. It said pilot in the title. I definitely feel like they're going for more of a All film the vibe. Full of magic things. I just need a ticket to ride. So I don't know why it would be a pilot if it was if they're shooting for film. Pistol in here somewhere? There's always one wedged in the seat. Well, I <laughs> guess that's a gun. I'll drop them away. You start the car. Please. This is going to take longer if you scatter them. What happened to you that made you hate fun? <laughs> take care of that. Disable the vehicle. It's like you're shooting BBs. You gonna crank it? I mean, it is the twenties. Ticking time bomb. Yeah, this is definitely film vibes. Shot in the hand. <laughs> you can brandish up your whip and chain, but the circus trains a blazing tail. Said the clown. It's got a lot of dynamite. We'll make our three rings anywhere. <gasps> oh. What? 
He's dead. Cats hate water. <laughs> and they're gone. They call him Ludbud? <gasps> Skedaddle! I love that word! I use it all the time! That is my word. <sighs> Are my eyebrows still on? Uh, yep. Aces. Here, Freckle. Ah, oh, Aces! I, I love the dialogue. Aces. I love old school slang. Help me up. Shit, you look disappointed. Little Daisy Cafe. Aesthetically, I, I love the vibe. And though scrutinized and scandalized and troubled in the end by depleted finances. Hmm. Familiar story. Miss Duncan leaves behind, moreover, a legacy of consummate artistry and bold innovation. Done in by a scarf. The comic end that makes the tragedy, doesn't it? Speaking of tragedy, we got an old supplier back. The funeral home. Still, it's not the same without you. And that feeling that... It's gonna be this the guy, right? The, the black cat that was shooting everybody? Is that who she's talking about? To be, we could drive a whole convoy of trucks in. <laughs> now we're just digging for scraps. Well, however unbecoming, Atlas, that's my cue. Meet you downstairs. That's him, right? That's Atlas. What did they call the um Miss M. Horatio? What did they call the, the girl, secret oh, right. like clubs and stuff back in the twenties? Speakeasies? Is that what we're about to get? <sighs> Is she wearing another cat? As her scarf? How's the That's kind of fucked up. Ah, right. The difficult business of a uh, business. You could certainly be of some help. Except I'm supposed to be a pillar of the community. Baron of industry. Upstanding citizen, you know? <laughs> he said, bent over his illicit beverage. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure you were alive. Zeb! Shouldn't you be up on stage playing? Ooh, called out. That guy? How about you, Wick? Shall I serenade you personally? Ooh. Once I've had a few more illicit beverages. Oh, wait. I, I, suppose I don't know the girl's name. He was hitting on the guy. Victor? <laughs> Looks like Scar. Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their truth. <laughs> Hell yeah. More of a confidant, less of a coroner. Try smiling, honey. <laughs> <sighs> we'll work on it. Bum ba da dum ba 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 ba. Hello. We made it, everyone. We made it. About the carpet. Three bottles. JJ. <laughs> Classic. Well, look what the Mississippi spat up. Miss Sam, you seem uh, surprised. 
Rocky, sweetie, you are nothing if not an exhausting, incomprehensible surprise. Thank you! This was supposed to be the real McCoy. Let's see if that's the surprise. Aren't you not supposed to drink your own product? <sighs> well, <clears throat> it'll certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it's <laughs> radiated fluid. What's that aftertaste? Mm, crisp, full-bodied, um, reminiscent of oak wood. Coffin varnish. Mm, yeah, we can call it the Sunset Rose Cocktail. Oh, I love his Sunset voice. That sounds good. You have no idea what I went through to get this. I have very good an idea. Mmm, <laughs> 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 sophisticated <laughs> flavor. So, not bad then? Uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, better than world. getting shot. <laughs> Still, is this all we got for our money, honey? You look like you took a bath in the red. Well, I yeah. could probably ring some more out of my coat for you. There was a minor incident? Incidences? <sighs> the likes of what? Oh, just some spent ammo and... Desecrated graves. Fractured signage, minor flooding, lots of structural damage. Uh, we may have fomented a deadly rivalry on the way, too. But dynamite and heavy machinery are marvelous problem solvers. A old sport! <laughs> What dynamite? And the car is fine. I fixed it. Also, you'll be happy to know my violin came through unscathed. Oh. I know you did your best, honey, but we can't keep running ourselves ragged and into the red to bring Omega. What I mean is, I, I don't see how this. Oh. Uh, You're fired. <laughs> I love that guy. That guy's great. You know what? I'm glad you and your violin are back, honey. We could all use some music about now. I mean, besides JJ. All right, all right. Come on, kid. What do you say we go lighten the mood? Uh, about the dynamite <laughs> and machinery, can you elaborate? Mr. Sable? All uh, right. Cheers. Come on, you owe me a dance. Was that his business? I yes, I decided. You know the Charleston? No. The Lindy Hop? No. The Roundabout? The Jingle Jangle? The Pizza Noodle? Ooh. I'll show you. you just gotta put one Why don't they have that guy do the hard work? We can have a musical number now. Oh, is that it? Nice. Okay. There's definitely aspects of it that I really did enjoy. I will say... I don't know the vibe they're going for. Like, I love the aesthetic of it. I, I love the 1920s aesthetic, you know, prohibition. But is this like, are we trying to have like an actual film kind of thing? Or is it supposed to be like comedy or a drama? Cause it doesn't seem like they're leaning too much into the comedy. I don't know. I felt like, this is just a pilot, by the way. The good thing about pilots is usually you see what people like, you see what people don't like, and then you change that for the first episode, right? So I think this is kind of cool. I, I love what they're doing here. I think some things definitely need to change um, or just be improved upon. But I think, uh, like, what they're going with here is really cool. I would just kind of want to know 
what they're shooting for. Like, is it supposed to be uh, a comedy or what? Because it feels like they want to do a film. That's that's the vibe I got. Like, really solid. Oh, wait, there's two Marimel minutes left. Hotel. Manager's office. Connect me to Mr. Sweet, please. After credit scene? Rather unfortunately, we were sidetracked. The vehicle has been disabled, and on the whole, the evening has not gone according oh, to Oh, I guess he doesn't have the whiskers, so he can't be Atlas. <laughs> womp womp. Yes. <laughs> However, Mr. Sweet, it seems... What, what am I, your it, dad? <laughs> it seems to have a more considerable problem at hand. Got him. What, someone mussed your hair? You got some dirt on you? As a matter of fact, yes. But more to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double-dealing. To stragglers from lackadaisy, of all things. Ooh. They're clumsy and likely to draw attention. With the feds in town. Yeah, that's a real liability. And I can only stave off so much heat from the higher ups. Who's this, Mufasa? He starts smoldering. Oh, those dragons. Having given it some thought, it does appear to warrant our. Attention. I love the female cat's like design. Time to tie up some loose ends. Okay. Love the after credit stuff. So yeah, um, overall, I enjoyed it. I do feel like they definitely, I don't know, there were at times in the, in the shot where like, or I should say in the episode, where maybe it could have used some more music, maybe some more sound effects, maybe some quicker cuts. I don't know. Uh, kind of things felt kind of drawn out. But again, if they're going for a film type of vibe, like they want to make like a feature length, then I can understand the prolonged, like, you know, some of the scene, uh, some of the things that they kept going for a while. I'm also confused, like, I don't know, like, there's the wackiness of the character where he's really created the main guy. Am I supposed to think he's funny, but he does all the poem stuff? And I don't know, I just felt like when he was throwing the dynamite, that could have been a little bit more exciting. I don't know if y'all got that vibe, too. Here's the problem, like... I think maybe they want to be really true to the 1920s vibe. So they're trying to keep that kind of music. But I think I, I think some of those scenes where like a lot more action is happening, some more like upbeat or fast paced music might be interesting. Or maybe let's dial up the the sound effects to where they're a little bit more intense. I think that might be kind of cool too. But overall, like I said, the aesthetic of this looks awesome. And I would love to see more. Uh, I'm excited to see if this keeps going. Uh, again, this is a pilot, so they'll probably hear what people liked and didn't like, and then they'll go from there. But overall, I think the quality of the animation was really awesome. And yeah, I'm excited to see what they do going forward. But if you want to keep up to date with this project, go subscribe to Lack of Daisy. Again, this is the pilot, so I'm assuming there's going to be more. But that is going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one.